Hey guys, welcome back. We have another very interesting article and I cannot imagine what it would be like to be in this woman's shoes. So um, a woman had a dog named Ghost. It looks as if this was either a mix or some kind of um, bull terrier dog. And um, somebody else found this dog. It escaped six months ago. Ghost is the dog's name, was found with a pack of coyotes, inspires battle between rescuers and a couple who says the pup is theirs. Let's dive into it. I love the uh, video articles. So um, here we go. Well, here we go. Denny Dog. It was raised by coyotes and nicknamed Ghost because he eluded capture. Well, now that he's been caught, Les Trent says there's a dispute over whose dog it is. This dog named Ghost was seen roaming Las Vegas neighborhoods along with a pack of wild coyotes. He was finally captured by animal rescuers Susan McMullen and Carol Sandy. He had a lot of sores on him and a lot of uh, bite marks. The story of the dog raised by coyotes is getting... Hold on. So back here, right? I don't know. What is it? Um, Amour something? Las Vegas is the rescue? So... This right here, the dog has been gone for six months. It was six months old when it got lost. And the fact that it's been with coyotes, because it's the only other thing that looks like a dog out in California, I believe this is where. This has got to be from other coyotes. Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think, because they were saying there's a lot of bite and scratch marks. There wasn't like any porcupine quills. There wasn't anything like that bite and scratch marks and a dog being six months of age he's not going to be fully up to date on vaccines um a a little <laughs> a little precarious taking this dog in and b it's interesting to notice because you don't really hear dogs hanging out around and with other um non-domestic canine species in the wild like, I, I found this article and said, hold on, <laughs> this is weird AF, because dogs are so domesticated, they, the studies that they have done in the, in the wild with dogs is dogs that typically find giant trash heaps to scavenge out of, because that's primarily how the human bond got started with dogs. They were scavengers, they were eating food, we were using positive reinforcement with these dogs out out in the wild during the domestication process and these dogs out in the walk out in the wild in these garbage heaps they kind of form loose packs during the day and then they dissipate later on they never stay with the same dogs they always kind of come and go and the the group it changes from day to day so i find it very interesting that this particular dog has been claimed to be hanging out with a small group of coyotes um and as evidenced by this poor dog's face you know it's I, I doubt they were getting along super well um because again dogs are something else compared to coyotes on him and a lot of uh, bite marks the story of the dog raised by coyotes is getting national attention many are comparing it to the legend of the boy raised in the wild by wolves but here, I also have so many more questions, like just because there is a photo and a video in one specific circumstance that this dog was found near a coyote. How do we know that it's been more than just that that day or a week or on and off? How, like, how do we know? I need, I have questions. I want them answered. I need to speak to somebody who has like been tracking this dog because I have so many questions. The story of Ghost the Dog takes a dramatic turn. Where did Ghost the Dog come from? And whose dog is it? We are 100% sure that is our dog. Christy Cabada. So this is the owner, okay? And she's about to show a photo of her puppy who is six months old. That says Ghost be Look at this dog's nose, okay? Look at it. Now, as soon as I heard that this dog was only six months old and it had been six months since that dog had escaped, you know what I was expecting with Reaver, my dog, when I had him? Um, he has a lot of black and white spots and markings all over his body. 
okay? You can't really see them too much because the white is longer hair and it kind of overcompensates the small dark spots, especially around his neck. You can, you don't really notice the spots. Um, they look more like brown streaks. So, and what I've noticed, especially with him, the spots on his belly, a lot of dappling black spots on his belly. You know what happened over six months, over a year with this puppy who had a lot more white spots um, on the skin? It all darkened. And anybody, any rescuer, any dog trainer worth their salt knows and understands that young dogs typically, in many cases, grow darker spots if they have any over time okay and there's a lot of changes that happens in that growth process so memorize this dog's nose and then we're going to look at this adult a dog that looks similar to this one i'm not convinced of that but <laughs> we'll be seeing their same patterns that a finger. member of her family when he was just a puppy who they called hades then last august they say hades went missing did he just run away from the yard or what? He's pulled away from him. He ran and his fence is so little, he jumped over that fence and he took off running. Somehow they say the dog ended up adopted. Also, I want to stress microchipping. Now, typically that's done after or during the dog's um, neuter, because this is a male dog. You can tell he's unneutered, so they probably don't have him microchipped. And um, the other thing I want to stress is getting your dog DNA tested. Because if anything, if you get your dog DNA tested and you already, and, and you put it in that bank of information, you can tell them, hey, there's not going to be any quarreling over whose dog this is if the rescuers get that dog DNA tested. Whether or not they will agree to that is another story. Um, but it's luckily Reaver, he's been DNA tested by Embark fantastic service. I highly recommend Embark over other um, DNA kits at this moment. That may change in the future. But, um, you know, <laughs> that's all I can say. Hindsight's twenty twenty. By the Coyote Pack. He stayed with them for six months until he was rescued. Christy says she sent Susan McMullen and Carol Sandy photos of their puppy, but the women refused to believe Ghost is theirs. He tried so there's that nose, right? They were like, no, 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 no. It's not the same dog. The nose markings and some of the other markings weren't matching up. Let's also say, you know, um, the just the same as dog, dog trainers, the bar for entry is very low. The way I started my business, you want to know how I started my business? I went down to the local, um, was it the municipal board or I, I applied for a business license. Business license was 35 bucks. That's all you need to start a business. That is the bar for entry for dog trainers. And the bar for entry for becoming a dog rescue is equally low. Okay, anybody can do it. There's really no bar for entry. I don't know how long these women have been doing it for. Um, and for them to reject it just because of the nose pattern is disgusting to me. Okay, absolutely disgusting. My opinion. So he said it probably Actually, was a six month dog. old puppy. Their noses, the spots on their nose, the other things you could potentially do is look at the ears. Now, I can't tell because the ears are down, unfortunately. Uh, but if we look at the top, it's not just the spots. Look at this big divot. That still matches. Once this fills in, that still matches the same divot. Like, how can you say no? It, it literally, things will fill in. Again, like this blank spot was still here to here still here to hear here it filled in that's literally what happened there's nothing that's out of place yes there's more black but there's nothing out of place with the pattern and that's what you need to be looking for so i on I, I feel for this woman um i'm surprised she even found this dog after six months but um these rescuers should be ashamed
do look different. Well, he's been gone for six to seven months. I'm sure, obviously, there's going to be a, a little bit of progression with the spots. Christy went to see the rescuer, but she says she took off with the dog. I actually left with the dog to secure the dog. Susan McMullen was briefly handcuffed. I need to know the drama. What? Hold on. Rewind. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the owner went to go rescue see the rescue she lady. She took off. I'm assuming this is where the rescue lady lives. And she was, it looks like this is what the owner recorded was her, she ran Off away with, with the, the dog. dog. I, like she did, she refused to even meet this person the way that this is sounding. Again, this is all alleged. We don't know the details, although I would really love to know the details. Um, animal people are always full of drama. It's always a ride. I actually left with the dog to secure the dog. Susan McMullen was briefly handcuffed. And then she was handcuffed. Why? How? What happened? Was it like a parking violation? Was she, did she like cross over a stop sign in pursuit? Was there like, like what happened? I need to know these things. Oh my God. But no arrests were made. And because police couldn't determine who legally owned the dog, he was taken to an animal. Get your dog embarked, okay? Get your dog DNA tested at least. If you if you haven't at least gotten your dog microchipped, or if you haven't done that because you're waiting on a spay or neuter, at least get them DNA tested, please, for the love of God. Shelter. So the fight over the dog raised by coyotes continues. Oh my God! Cliffhanger. And both sides say they are ready to go to court. Why? Listen, why? I don't understand why a rescue would be ready to go to court over something like this. You have somebody who's claiming that it's your dog, the nose matches up well enough, and they lost dog at six months of age. That nose is going to fill in. It always does. Oh, I can't. I can't. So, um, anyways, even with all that frustration, thank you guys for joining. Um, I hope I see more articles coming out about this to follow and see what goes on. Maybe they will go to court. Maybe they won't. I don't know. Rescues tend to be low on funds anyway. Where are they going to get this money to go to court over fighting for a dog that's going to, that they're going to adopt out for 200 bucks, 350 bucks? I don't know. Um, but I hope, I hope whoever the good guy is wins. I have my suspicions. And everything is alleged. And um, you can follow me on my socials. If you guys are interested in learning more about service dog stuff, I am everywhere as at Caitlin's Animals on Instagram, on TikTok, and on, a, uh, on Facebook as Caitlin's Animals Trading. And um, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye, guys.